the fines are related to turnover. So the reason why Google and Facebook get such big fines is they've got such big turnovers. Um, so if you were turning over $20,000 a year or £20,000 a year, you would be hard put to get that kind of fine because they're multipliers of, of how much money you make. So if they're not being set an example big it financially is just that's they're very very rich and the fines are designed to make you go ouch i don't want to do that and ouch for a micropreneur is a lot less money than ouch for google and obviously when you're smaller that's a smaller number there are minimums on it so but the reality is as smaller marketeers the issue is not really being fined it's the effect on your reputation and the effect on the effectiveness of your marketing because if you're using techniques that have got other people fined, you're going to run into trouble. And I'll give you some examples that apply just as much B2B as B2C, but mailing lists. If you're chucking people on your mailing list without consent, your open rate goes down. As your open rate goes down, most of you will know your deliverability goes down. And as your deliverability goes down, and all with your open rate, the click-through rate goes down, even assuming you can still follow that with the latest change to Apple and tracking and all the rest of it. Now, to that extent, your marketing is becoming progressively less effective if you're insisting on using techniques that were pre-GDPR. 